Hello everybody, this is Chris from TechSource and today I'll be doing a full review of uh, all the information about the new LG Cosmo Touch from Verizon. So a couple of, uh, a couple of viewers informed me that they, would, uh, they wanted a more informative, uh, informative kind of review on the Cosmo Touch, so that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, pretty much just going over things like the, the keyboard features along with connectivity. Um, unfortunately, I can't do the internet, but uh, I will go over a couple of things that I can do with the with browsing, like Facebook and Twitter. Um, also, going over things like the camera. So, the first thing we're going to talk about today is going to be the overall design of the phone. Um, it is made out of recycled uh, materials, so it is kind of a, le a less carbon footprint on the environment. Um, it has a WQVGA style um, resistive touchscreen. Unfortunately, it's resistive. Um, unlike any other devices, like the high-end devices, are, which are uh, capacitive. Um, like one thing I pointed out last time is that it has the three screens set up for you. You can set up to uh, 11 different favorites that you want to have, uh, either text messages or contacts. And then also it has your messages here. Uh, I'll go into more of that in a minute. One of the first things I want to talk about is going to be the uh, the keyboard on it. If you have the keyboard, the keyboard does light up as you can see. It has a four line QWERTY keyboard. Um, it does have dedicated keyboard short, shortcuts on it so you can get through to different parts of the phone through the shortcuts. Um, not much to say really about the keyboard. I mean it is a, uh, a standard style uh, texting keyboard. Um, like I said, probably the best thing about it is the, the screen or the I'm sorry the letters do uh, light up. You see that blue little uh, the lights there. And the screen goes dark. The keyboard does too. Okay. Next thing we're going to talk about is going to be the camera. Now I am going to go ahead and correct myself. I said it was a 3.2 megapixel. Um, it is actually 1.3 uh, megapixel autofocus camera. Uh, does not do video recording. Only pictures. Um, unfortunately. Um, so we're going to go into the app camera application to check that out camera it does come up sideways so a couple of things about the camera you you have your setups your white and black balance and your settings um, turn the flash on and off or go back take play to play your pictures things like that basic uh, basic camera uh, basic camera programming on this phone um, like I said, it is autofocus. It does not have. Uh, it doesn't shoot uh, landscape, only portrait style pictures, unfortunately. Um, so let's go ahead and take a picture. Take a picture of this cup. It's autofocus and take. There we go. So as you can see, it is a it's a fairly decent picture for a 1.3 megapixel. Got three different options: erase, send, or save. So you can send it directly from the picture, or you can erase it or save it. I'll go ahead and erase. To the home screen. The okay, next thing I'm going to talk about is going to be the uh, the quick updates for Facebook and Twitter, which are going to be located uh, inside your messaging area. So you can see Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, and a bunch of different things that you can actually do. You just hit it, and it will let you update your status, your pictures, your uh, your messages, and see your wall. Okay, pretty much does the same thing for Facebook. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about is going to be uh, Bluetooth connectivity. It does use Bluetooth 2.1, uh, which is the newest Bluetooth technology, which of course uh, allows you to uh, listen to music straight from a Bluetooth headset. It must be a Bluetooth 2.1 certified headset in order to do that, something like the new Jawbone Icon. Um, you can actually save up to 20 Bluetooth pairings. You can send your calendar events in all contexts uh, with Bluetooth. Uh, it does have profiles for handset hand, uh, hands free and advanced audio distribution. For all your techie guys out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, the music on this phone is going to support MP3, WMA, um, etc. So, pretty much, I don't think it does MP4. Um, so, unfortunately, if you have MP4 uh, music files like from iTunes, it may not support it. Um, however, you can convert them. Um, it does have support for up to 16 gigabytes. It does not come pre-installed with one, but you can get up to a 16 gigabyte SD card to go inside here to hold and store your music on. Um, 
you can actually transfer. It has mass storage mode, which allows you to transfer music from the, the memory card to the computer and back and forth. Um, it does have speakerphone on it. It uh, does have uh, voice commands such as send message, call, dial, stuff like that. Um, it does have a uh, word prediction messaging, uh, adjustable text message, font size, group messages, so you can actually send a, a text message to a group of people. Um, all this stuff, if you want, if you want a de uh, like a, a demo of uh, of how to do it, just send me a message, and I'll be able to do that for you. Um, tools on this phone are going to include calculator, easy tip calculator, calendar alarm, clock, stopwatch, and world clock, along with notepad and drawing pad. Not exactly sure what kind of stuff you can do with the drawing pad. Uh, let's see if I can find it. No? Alright, I'll look for that later. So here's all your uh, different tools that you have, voice command, calculator, etc. Uh, nope, drawing pad. So obviously it's just pretty simple. You just draw on the screen. Da, 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 da. You know, um, let's see. Nope, nope. You know, I, heart, LG. I'm doing it with one hand, so give me a break. Okay. So the specs on it, um, this information is just all for the uh, the technically inclined, if you will. Um, it is a CDA phone. Its frequency runs off of 1.9 gigahertz CDM uh, at 800 mega at megahertz uh, CDMA uh, dual band. Um, it does have data transmission one times RTT voice and data capable. Uh, its dimensions of the phone is 4.5 inches height, 2.8 inches width, and 0.65 diameter. Or width, I'm sorry. The weight is 4.37 ounces, so it is a pretty light phone. Um, maybe hefty for other people that are coming from like a Chocolate Touch or a Nokia phone. Um, its display is going to be 400 by 240 megapixels, 2.8 inch screen. It has a 1000 uh, uh, megahertz battery. Um, usage time is up to 360 minutes, and standby time is 480 hours. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty nice little battery going on in there. Uh, of course, it is a very simple, simplified phone, so it doesn't really surprise me that it has that little battery. Um, again, this was just a uh, review of the Cosmos Touch. If there's anything else that you would uh, that you'd like to know about this phone, uh, just hit me up on Facebook or Twitter, or leave a comment in the section below. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye.